you're your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you to help him deposit into his account. And then while you're on your way, you got a call that he had an accident and he died. What would you do? God has done a miracle, my life. Dear lovers and friends, good day and welcome back to my channel. It's Dorisi as always, and I'm back with another video. And in this particular video, it's still gonna be a vox pop, yes, guys. And we are focusing on the Faculty of Social Science, Delta State University, Abraka. So I'll be asking some students questions. Some of my classmates, I'll be asking them a very interesting question to get their reply. If you want to know what their reply would be, just keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment and share with your friends, and let's dive right into the video. So I want to ask you a question. If, um, okay, you are on your way to the bank to deposit money, 10 million naira that your boss gave to you, and then on your way to the bank, you got a call that he, um, he had an accident and he died. What would you do? <laughs> I will take the money, oh, 10 million is only my own. Because <laughs> yes, he's dead. And I'm not sure if you told anybody that he gave me money. Okay, the money is now my own. Oh, okay. But as a child, I'll just return the money. Are you returning it or you're taking it? I'm taking it. Okay, you take it. Yeah, it's all right. So, my question, my question to you, um, you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. And then, while you're on your way, you got a call that he had an accident and he died. What would you do? Hmm. This is the account of this instance. What would you do? Yes. I will pay the money. You, you pay the account. But for chop and board, you know, I still don't allow it. The question is, you are on your way to the bank to deposit money that your boss gave to you, 10 million naira to deposit it for him. And then while on your way to the bank, you got a call that he got into an accident and he died. <laughs> what will you do? <laughs> I'll take the money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll, uh, Be sincere, what will you do? Company's money. His money. Okay, his own money. Yes. I'll just take the money now. Be quiet about it. Okay. <laughs> so you take the money and be quiet about yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, oh yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. My question for you. You're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. To help him deposit into his account. And then while you're on your way, you got a call that he had an accident and he died. What would you do? God has done a miracle in my life. It has been marvelous in our sight. So I will give glory to God first. I'll pay tight. I will also go and console the family members because it's not easy. They lost somebody. Oh my God. But that money is now mine. God has done it. Even the company, the Bible signed it for my name because I'm a very hard working person. So I guess that's why. Well. But I will mourn. I will mourn him seriously. Thank you very much. All right. Good morning. Okay, so my question for you: You're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you, and then while you're on your way, you got a call that he was in an accident and he died. So what would you do next? Place? I'll go and deposit the money now, and then I'll tell the family that while I was going, this is what happened. So the money is the money is in his account. So anything you want to do uh, is your problem, but I'll put the money where I was set to put it. That's nice. <laughs> my, my question for you, you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. And then while you're on your way, you got a call that it was an accident. What will you do? Okay, first of all, I'll go to the bank to deposit the money first before going back to meet my boss. Because I can't take 10 million to go and meet an accident man. No, it's not possible. So I will just respect myself because he died. Oh, he died. Yes. Ah. So what will you do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be truthful. Yes. I will not deposit it that minute. <laughs> no, I will not deposit it that minute. Okay. But definitely, I'm not going to take it to myself. But later on, I will just tell, call his family, maybe his wife or his children, and tell them about the money. But keeping the money definitely, I will not because knowing that he's dead, even the bankers might or they might have gotten news that this man is dead, and they will not even bother putting the money into his account. So you just take the money back to the family and let them do the deposition yourself. Right. Thank you very okay. much. So my question for you, or my question to you, you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. 
And while you're on your way, you got a call that he had an accident and he died. What will you do? Carry money, I'll take his money around the way. <laughs> and, you know, make something out of myself. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, my question for you, you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. And then while you're on your way, you got a call that your boss had an accident and he died. What would you do? Um, I could chop the money. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the money. No, no, I would. I think I would. <laughs> okay, okay, the thing is that, the truth is that, that it's not my money. So therefore, the money now, it must have told somebody that he gave me the money. What if he did not tell anybody? Like nobody knows about yes, it. Just, just both of us. No way. Yes. Nothing, nothing. Yes. Okay, okay, that means I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> Good morning, Paul. So, my question to you, and you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that your boss gave to you. And then, while on your way, you got a call that your boss was in an accident and he died. What would you do? The boss has a family. I want to give the family now. That's simple for me. Yeah. yeah. So my question for you, you're on your way to the bank to deposit 10 million naira that you was in. And then while you're on your way, you got a call that you was in an accident and then like, what would you do? Wow. Wow. That's very deep. Very deep. Uh, my boss, depend on my relationship with my boss, first of all, if he's this very nice person and if he's somebody I'm very close to, I, I think I'll best attend to the call. He's so nice to me and he's the one that can easily give me anything I have. I think there's no point. The money to me is it's not really necessary to the money around me. Okay. I think I will just you know, Sympathize with the family. But if it's someone that's very mean, no oh boy. You take it now. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it now. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Alright guys, so um, let me conclude this whole video. I don't know, seriously, my own opinion at the end of the day is that I really don't know what I'll do till that time comes because I don't know. There is no way that a particular spirit will not tell me to keep the money. A particular spirit will tell me to keep the money. So you just will try to overcome it and not keep it. And maybe, maybe if I'm able to overcome it, then I'll now say, okay, let me take the money to the family and give it to the family. But if I'm not able to overcome that spirit, that means I'll take the money. So that's just my own opinion about the whole thing. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment, share with your friends, and most especially subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. But for now, bye.